Hello everyone, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod Digimon World Next Order. So this tutorial is going to include how to uh, use Beplin mods and how to use Cheat Engine. So first, I'm just going to boot up the game um, without any mods at all. World. Next order. So I'm going to demonstrate you guys um the Digimon World Next Order helper mod. So when you press F1, it should tell me when my Digimon are going to die. As you guys can see, it's not. So I don't have mods installed. So I'm just going to close that. So now um, I'm going to leave a link in the description to this website. You guys are going to need to install Beplin. Specifically, um, you guys are going to go to this one right here. Press the drop-down menu. And you're going to want to install this version of Beplin. So this one right here. So once you have that downloaded, now you're, you're, you're going to want to go to wherever you have your Digimon World Next Order stored. For me, it's local disk. Program files, Steam libraries, Steam apps, Common, Digital World Next Order, or you can just go here, Manage, and Browse Local Files. So it's going to download um, a zip, and then you guys are just going to extract the files, and it should look something like this. Since I already have mods, um, I've just taken all of them out of here and put them here, but you guys are just going to put all the files in here. So now, I'm going to select all the files that were in that folder that I downloaded and drag them into Digimon World Next Order. So now you guys have Beplin installed. So now, we're going to want to actually install the mods. So the first mod, or not, or not the first mod, I mean the website that you guys are going to want to use to download mods is going to be Nexus. This is the main um, site for mods. I'm sure that there are others, but this is just the, the main one. So right here, here's the one, Digimon World Next Order Helper. Click click on it. Press manual download. Um, It might prompt you to download Beplin EX, but we already have it downloaded, so we can just press download. And then you guys just, just, are just going to want to press slow download. So now, so now when, when we go to downloads, it should have a zip file titled Digimon World Next Order Helper. You guys just want to extract it, and it should have all of these files. Then, in your Digimon World Next Order uh, folder, you guys want to go into Beplin EX, Plugins, and then you guys are just going to want to drag it into there. Now, uh, this one has multiple, but normally it'll only have on this DLL file, but... Regardless of what it is, you just, you just want to drag everything in it. Usually it's just a DLL file, but for this one, it has more than that. So, uh, yeah. So now I'm going to boot up the game, and it's going to take a second. This is because Beplin is getting um, set up. Um, as you guys can see, there should now be a command prompt window open. Um, don't type anything into this. Don't close it. Just leave it alone, like don't touch it at all. Digimon World, next order. So now I'm just gonna load into the game. And now when I press F1, as you guys can see, my Digimon are now telling me when they're gonna die. So now on to how to use cheat engines. So um I'm gonna leave a link to uh, this YouTube channel, this is the YouTube channel that I used to get um, all of my Digimon World Next Order cheat engine mods. As you guys can see, there are uh, five here. Uh, but for this one, I'm just going to use um, 
this one right here. So in the description of these videos, it should have a link. You're going to press on it and it's going to ask you to download it. So I'm not 100% sure if you need to have Cheat Engine installed. I installed Cheat Engine, um, but I don't know if you actually have to do that. So now that you guys have your Cheat Engine installed, now you guys just want to boot it up. Then it's going to have this little window right here. You guys want to click on this, open process. Always press this one. Never press one that, that says Beplin. Always press this one right here. Hit open. Yes. Activate. So now it should have um, this open. So something that you guys should know is that number one, always save before you use the cheat engine. Always save because you might mess something up or might load or might not load properly. So just always save beforehand as a precaution. Then you can only you can only use a cheat engine once every time they open it up. So if I use this one and I'm done using it and I want to use let's say maybe this one right here it's not going to work. It's not going to work properly. So I'm just going to have to close this and then open it back up. And now I can inject a new one. So every time that you want to do something uh, to the game, you want to uh, press this little drop down menu that says script. And it's going to pull up all of these things. So I want to edit my Digimon stats, main game manager, main game manager right there. Sir. So you're going to press the, score, the corresponding uh, script. So main game manager there main game manager here so now let's go to partner l so now i'm gonna have to load back into digimon exit out there and go back in so now it should have updated to show all of your stats so now, so now you're gonna press uh data's common data and so so oh uh, so so you guys know this top one is going to be the max HP and this is the current HP. So max HP, current HP, max MP, current MP. Uh, now, now I don't know what these two are, but this one is weight, I believe. So yeah, so here are all of like your general stats, like strength, stamina, speed, intelligence. So there. So I'm just gonna edit all of these. Nine nine nine. Nine nine nine. So now, when I go back in, into Digimon, and I look at my stats, now it's all 999. So now, if you want to edit other stats, you, you want to press Partner Data, or Data, and it's going to bring down this big old window. So now, as you guys can see, I have 49 victories on my Lusamon. So I'm, I'm going to want to look through here. Oh, right there, 49. I want to click on that, uh, and just edit that value so i forgot to mention as well only edit like these like these last stats here so don't touch any of the ones in these two columns so yeah but so i'm gonna load back in and i have 999 victories and then if you want to edit other stuff like weight discipline happiness blah 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 i would just look for the corresponding number here and then edit it and if it doesn't work properly then just edit it back to what it was and it's the same process for your other partner. So I'm also going to show you guys how to like edit my player data. So player data right there. And I also need to say you're going to want to be in the specific tab. So I believe it's only partner, tamer, and items, but it might be more. So um, right here I'm in tamer now. Should update. I can change my name to whatever I want. Right there. Now I go back, and right there, my name is <laughs> my name's changed. So you guys can edit stuff like money, and you know other stuff here. So now you can close that, and that has been how you guys mod Digimon World Next Order for Steam. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave a link to everything um in the description i hope you guys have fun uh, please make sure to like and subscribe and bye